Ah, yes. With Easter being only four days away, the time to decorate your home, well, was now or maybe even last week. Yarn covered <laughs> Easter eggs are a nice touch to add to your Easter table. And here to show you how to uh, deck your home is Chris H. Olson with Botanica Gardens. And before, before we begin, I, I have to share this from Twitter. I got tickled over this. This is from a follower of mine. I have three of them. Spiritual, <laughs> and this is one, one of the three, spiritual psychosis. I, hey, no, no wonder they're following me, right? Regarding the marker thing we did earlier, yes. Uh, at TV Brandon, I'll just color the eggs with permanent sharpies just to be on the safe side. <laughs> don't don't eat I, those. I wouldn't eat don't those. Eat those. Right. There you go. Thank you. We don't advocate that. Yarn covered eggs. Now this looks like something my kid could do. Yeah, this is a fun thing because a lot of us we have company coming over. We want to decorate our tables and that type of thing. And you can make this yourself, or if you want, ah, I'm gonna go buy it. You can buy it. You're probably uh -huh. gonna make it instead of buy it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, these are you can buy these at craft stores and they're paper mache eggs. Okay. Or if you want, which is fun, you can take take balloons, which really cool, and you can, before you blow them up, you blow up a little bit and you, sh you fill them up with different types of candy, oh, tie okay. it, and then you get paper mache, which you get uh, a decoupage, uh -huh. which you can find at a craft store, okay. mix it with paper towels, and you can go ahead and create this like this so you can crack it with the candy. Okay. It's really fun. And then when you're, when you're done with that, then you're going to go ahead and take acrylic paint, which you can get in any color you want. And you're going to go ahead and paint it first, one base color. Okay. Or you can do anything you want. And then once you finish that, then I get all my different color yarns that are out there. And you can do solid colors, or they even have mixed colors like this, which is wonderful to use. And you just start with one end. If we can find our end, if you want to take your hot glue gun. Okay. What and we're going to start here at the yellow. Let's start right there in the pink. Okay, right, just, right a, just a little dab will do you. Is it working? There you go. Okay. Okay, and you just start there on one end, and all you do is you keep wrapping around every so now, and then put a little bit there. Where would you like it? Right here? Just right there. Okay. Yeah. So you're just putting a little drop here and there. So on and so on. And you just okay. keep going around, and you can create any cool design. What's wonderful about this is you will have these years to come as decorations. Great okay. gift. Right. Another simple one, you can get the little paper mache eggs. They come in a little bag right here. <laughs> and, uh, and then you just take your acrylic paint and we call it dibble dabble. Dibble, you dibble dabble. Yeah, all you do is take a little Q-tip. Okay. And take the dabble. excess and all you do is dab all over the egg different colors. And before you know it, you have a wonderful color egg. Did you do that egg? I did that oh, egg. Somebody, somebody did. I like oh, that. Yeah. That's pretty cool.